places, worn out places, worn out faces, bright and early for the daily races, going nowhere, going nowhere, and their tears are filling up their glasses, no expression, no expression. Hide my heart, I want to drown my sorrow No tomorrow, no tomorrow And I find it kind of funny I find it kind of sad The dreams on which I'm dying Are the best I ever had I find it hard to tell you I find it hard to take when people run in circles, it's a very bad, bad world, bad world. Ain't it ever a mad world? Hey, how you doing? Justin here. Today we're checking out Mad World, uh, kind of the Gary Jules version, uh, kind of a ballad version really because... Uh, his is still kind of electro, isn't it? And uh, the original one, of course, is uh, Capo right further up the neck and is not very guitar related. So this is kind of an acoustic version of it. Um, the Gary Jules one's Capo first fret. So if you want to play along with the recording, you have to put a Capo on. It suits my voice better in open position, so I've left the Capo off. Uh, you might want to leave your Capo off for the lesson then if you want to play along. Put the old Capo back on. So uh, I've worked out a little intro thing that kind of you know, ties in that little, the, you know, the, the kind of the riff. It's kind of nice. We're going to do a little close up and I'll show you that a little later on. First of all, I want to go through a nice simple version with some easy strumming. So the intro starts off with a bar of E minor, bar of A, bar of E minor, bar of A. I'd suggest you start off just by playing simple four to the bar strumming, learn the tune and then apply some of these other kind of strumming and finger style options if you like. So uh, we'd have E minor for a bar to A for a bar. Then we're into the verse. We've got E minor. All around me are G chord places, D chord faces, A chord faces, E minor. simple we've got that little verse sequence which is E minor G D and A it just repeats around that four times to the verses the pre-chorus and the chorus are E minor and A a bar of each so it's a really good beginner song this one and, and the good thing about it you can play it with that real simple strumming and get used to singing and playing at the same time if you want to do that uh, and then you can start to kind of develop the strumming. So the first thing you probably might want to do on the strumming, we're just going to stay on the E minor there now to go through the different strumming patterns, but you might want to try one, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. Of course, you're going to strum drums, <laughs> you're going to strum downs on the one, two, three, and the four, and the ups on the end. So that would be down, down, up, down, up, down. Down, down, up, down, up, down. And at 
that works really well. So. All around there are familiar faces, worn out places, worn out faces. You know, it, it works nice. You can also use a, 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 a strumming pattern that I call Old Faithful. You haven't done it if you're a stage three guitar player, but you're going to do it soon, which is this down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. See, that progression works really good too. So there are already we've got a few variations going on that sound cool. Now, a lot of people like to do this one as well, finger style. So if you've learned proper finger style patterns, like at the end of the beginner's course, you might be doing. That one, thumb, one, two, one, three. Thumb one two one three two one two. Thumb one two one three two one two. This is in part of the beginner's course at the end when we look at finger style. I teach that pattern and talk about moving the bass around and stuff. So if you want to do that, go and check out that lesson, uh, the finger style lesson. My recommendation would be to leave it until you get there and then come back and revisit this song and apply that. As long as you get the bass note right, the finger style pattern can change a bit really in this tune. And it lends itself nicely to the kind of the way I was playing it there, which is I'm playing the bass note on the beat one and randomly playing. I'm just playing whatever notes kind of fall under the under my pick, but I'm playing it with a pick, not finger style. And uh, I can't, this is covered in the intermediate course. I call it picked finger style. Because um, basically, I'm just I'm playing it almost like it's a finger style pattern, but I'm, I'm there's not really a proper pattern. I'm just kind of letting it kind of happen by itself. It takes a bit of practice, and it's not again that's not a beginner thing, but it does sound nice to do that. Um, also, in the chorus, if you want to get that little riff in, you can strum it as well. Just really third fret of the thinner string, second fret of the thinner string, and open. One and two and three. And one, two, three, four. One and two and three, four. One. Pushing the A chord a bit there. So I'm changing on the and after four. Three and four. Slightly above beginner stage, but for those of you watching that that are kind of beyond that and wanting some extra food, that can be quite a cool thing. Is to they call it pushing the A chord, right? So that can be a fun thing to do. Um, and what do I have to do? I was going to show you the intro. So let's get to a close up, and I'll show you how I play that little intro. So we're going to start off with this little chord here. First finger in the second fret of the fourth string, little finger on the thinner string in the third fret. We strum all of that down. <laughs> Then we up pick just the thinner string, down, up in the second fret. I'm using my second finger there on the second fret of the thinner string, and then one pluck on the open E string. Start learning that. Then I'm plucking the open B string as well, the second string. And then we're moving up the neck. I'm starting with this finger, which is the second finger in the sixth fret. And then I'm playing, I'm putting my third finger down in the seventh fret of the fourth string and playing open A, then the seventh fret, then the sixth fret, open B string, open E.
I'm sure you agree this is a really beautiful song and having so many different ways of playing it, it makes it a great beginner's tune. It can be really simple with simple strumming and easy chords or you can start to really kind of develop your rhythm skills here and explore different strumming patterns or finger style or the picked strumming. You know, that little intro thing is just something I made up, so you can kind of leave that out. But if you fancy it, I think it sounds nice, and it makes it's nice to have an intro to a tune if you're going to play at a little party or whatever. Having that kind of little melodic thing is, is kind of a nice little icing on the cake. But make sure you learn the tune properly first. Don't start with the intro. Start with the song. Learn the song, and then come back and check out the intro once you've nailed it. So uh, have a lot of fun with that, and I'll see you for another song or lesson very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.